Think the oil's gonna be here? I wonder what kind of toll it'll take on the wildlife out there. Uh, there ain't no telling. Only $3,700. Are you gonna uh, be able to go back out and catch shrimp or are you gonna go work for BP? Uh, I'll really try to get a job on BP if I can, because really they ain't got no shrimp right now. That's cool. Uh, yeah. That sign cost me $200, bro. We really ain't got the money. We gotta turn around and give them so much down and pay the, the rest of that whenever the boat goes to work. His name is Terry Pazani. That's his boat. My little brother works on that boat. You ever to talk to him too about the shrimp and all? No, you miss uh, your buddy getting his butt whipped in the parking lot this morning. Yeah. Ooh, Dean. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. beat the piss uh -uh. out of Dean right in the parking lot. Who's that? Rain. You know, I'm fish fighting 300 pound, 25 year old boy just now, you know? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's under so much pressure, you know? Uh, well, we're a shrimp processor um, and we're an unloading dock. We're unique in, in this market because we do it all. Um, we buy uh, approximately 13 million pounds of shrimp a year from directly from shrimp boats and shrimpers. The shrimp where they should be fishing is where the oil spills at right now. Everything starts from the east and works back this way, you know? And so that the, the, the first uh, crop, we're losing the first crop, you know? You have a Bento Red Lobster? Oh, but that's because I'm from here. Okay, you need to go to one and look at the beautiful paintings on the wall. Look at the shrimp boats and the sunsets and the fishermen in their big, you know, oilers at the wheels of their boats. Their seafood doesn't come from the boats. Their seafood comes from a, a, a pond in China that, that's being fed antibiotics, growth hormones, and pig feces. Why, if they want their customers to know what they're eating, why don't they show them customers the pictures of them pig feces fed ponds? Because it's not smart marketing. Don't be to stay here losing four, five thousand, three thousand a day, you know? I'm fixing to let all these people go. The shrimp prices fell in 2001 because they had some shrimp that went to England that couldn't be eaten in Europe. Couldn't be eaten in Europe, couldn't be eaten in Germany, couldn't be eaten in Canada, couldn't be eaten in Mexico, but it could be eaten in the United States because they hired lobbyists and came here and got the, the United States to pass a law that we could eat a, a higher rate of cancer-causing agents than any other country in the world. You know? Come on, then they worry about this health care bill and all? <laughs> Come on, man, this, this is a joke. So it won't impact the world market, but it's going to impact our American market and our Gulf Coast market because people don't come to the Gulf Coast to eat imported shrimp. Uh, the wildlife and fishery, because of the oil spill, declared an emergency opening of Zone 1, which is our in inland shrimp season, the brown shrimp season. And generally this doesn't happen in nature until mid to late May. Well already our shrimp, our, our seasons have been off. You know we've been finding that um, they're running two weeks to a month later you know than, than average. So we were really not expecting the brown shrimp season to open until late May, early June or to be as productive as it should be and the fishermen go out, they skim, they look for shrimp, and there's none to be found. And if they do find it, it's too small to harvest. I've been doing this since I'm 14 years old, running shrimp docks. And I went to sign up yesterday to, to, to go work on the whole thing. If we close down, they told me I ain't got no boat, that I can sign up, but it don't make no difference. I ain't gonna get to get called. The better deal, honestly, on our behalf is to go clean because they're going to give us $1,500 a day to clean. Yeah. Guaranteed. Shrimp, and you're not guaranteed that. But, uh, shrimp, I mean, we, we, th money. that's what the boat's made for, the shrimp. Yeah. So whatever happens, happens. It doesn't matter. As long as we get to make a living. This is stopping us from making a living with all this oil in the Gulf. It's, they, they need to get as many boats as they can to clean this up. 
if we do have to do this, we're gonna, like my deckhand's gonna keep the boat clean for them guys, I'm gonna steer the boat, and they're gonna have a hazmat crew on the back deck cleaning, doing all the oil spill stuff. We will not have to mess with the oil spill stuff or nothing. All I'm gonna have to do is know my coordinations for where they're gonna set us. Like I thought my stuff was updated, and come to find out, you know, I had a couple things that wasn't right, they let us know, and you need that to get on the job with, you know, with BP. So really, you're on standby for 24 hours, you can't leave the job site. So I don't even know so why they changed this. what does a working this. day mean in that paragraph? Six to six. I feel like, you know, we're watching them gamble with the limited knowledge they have about when the spill's going to be capped. Because it seems like, right, from what we've learned now, like the the size of the spill, the impact of the spill, if it just kind of like stopped tomorrow, would be like these guys shrimp in season screwed. And maybe next season too, maybe but definitely not the next, even with this chemical dispersant that they use. Now, that could be wrong too, you know, who knows what the aftermath of that could be. They let can't it go. imagine them being able to hire every shrimp boat no, they can't. to do that. They, they can't. can't. There's too many little boats that, you know, like, like this one here, the, pop, the poppy's boys, you know, it's wood. You can't yeah. put a wood boat in, in at all. It seems to me, maybe, if there is a waiver of liability, then BP is taking the gamble that Investing in all this fisherman cleanup is going to be less cost than settling claims with them at the end of the day. And the fishermen are making a gamble that the money, if they're hired from BP, which they might not be. The money they make over those six to nine months working is gonna be equivalent to the loss, um, their losses from their inability to shrimp from the oil spill. And that determination is probably based on how nasty this thing's gonna get. Cause right now, nobody knows.